machine that we installed at Spring Meadow Nursery about two years ago. And the whole idea behind this machine is to provide Spring Meadow customers with the most consistent uniform liners on the market. The operator of the machine sets the dimensions and the criteria for sorting of each particular crop. This is programmed and can be used every time that particular crop is brought back to the sorting machine. In a flat of plants, not every plant is the same. Some are small, some are large. And the idea is to separate them out into plants that are even and uniform. The plants are fed on a conveyor belt and they go through two cutting machines. One trims the branches in between each of the cells in the flat and the other cuts the flat into individual cells so that it can be picked up by the machine. Once the tray is trimmed and cut in a horizontal fashion, the tray is turned sideways and it is cut vertically. The robotic arm picks up each individual pot and loads it into a conveyor belt. This is running at slow speed so you can see how the machine works, but it lifts each plant up sets it into a tray, and then goes back to the next tray. The conveyor belt then takes the plants into a light chamber where the plants are videotaped and measured according to their size. It measures the number of pixels in each plant and it does it very quickly. Once the plant has been emptied, the tray is then taken on a conveyor belt down to the other end of the machine where it will be refilled based on the grade of the plant. After the camera has videotaped each plant, it goes into a different location based on its size either small, medium, or large, and dead cells are then taken uh, and removed from the system. After the cells have been graded into different size, the machine then puts them back into the flat based on the particular size of grade. Here you can see the different grades being sorted out and you can see that there's quite a difference between the three different grades. A computer tracks and records the number of plants that go through the machine. It also gives you a percentage of each grade that comes out. When the process is complete, there's a number or percentage of plants that fall into each grade. Not only does it grade the plant, but it also grades our propagator and lets them know how well they're doing and which techniques are working the best. And there's a dead tray, a small, medium, and large, and these will go into different growing locations. This frees up greenhouse space, it delivers a more consistent crop, and delivers our customers a better product. The plants are then moved back to a growing house where we can trim them and sort them on and ship them based on their different grades. And again, the idea is to provide our growers, our customers, with a product that fin finishes faster and more evenly.